Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Today we're going to learn how we can create a to-do list tracker using Excel. So it's going to be an amazing program. You can easily monitor our progress and when you click on the checked activities, if it's completed, automatically this will be updated on your bar chart and also be updated and you see the progress and the same progress will be also be updated on the bar chart. If I check this, the percentage is going to reduce. So you can easily create this simple application to monitor your progress on whatever you are doing. I'm going to walk you through step by step with no step skip, like, and then give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to, to always like and share. Okay. Give me a comment. Leave a comment at the comment section of this video. And then I will gladly respond to you. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. I'm going to open a new a new worksheet over here so i click on the plus icon at the far bottom to open a new worksheet so remember we need to have uh, five columns okay so remember we need to have one two three four five six columns so we need to have a column for activities status true false total and then progress so what we need to do is that we'll go here let me first select the entire worksheet by clicking on the small triangle at the far corner and then i need to now expand this i need to open up i need to increase the spaces a bit okay so first of all i'll just select a portion of my cell and then merge it so i'm going to merge this portion select everything and then from the alignment group click on what merge center so we just want to give a title to this particular work so let's just call it to do list okay once this is done you can select your cell and then do some alignment let's center and middle align this and then let's give it a different style so i'll select good and then make sure i increase the size to something that will be very visible so let's say 24 and then select bold okay so that part of our work is done but let's go back and confirm and see we need to have activity status so let's first create that true false total and then progress so let's get one column for activity so let's get one over here so let's say activities and then we need to have what the status let's also have true we need to have false we need to have total and then we need to finally have progress so we need all this for everything to be set so let's just confirm that and that is exactly what we need okay for the activity side we need to open this particular column because we don't go list we are going to list the activities that we will be doing but we can easily format this particular headings for this let's use center in the middle align and then we can bold in this and increase the font so let's say 14 should be enough for this okay and what we need to do is i'll just change the font the background color for this so go back to the font group and then select the paint button and select any color of your choice i'll select this and then change the color to what white so that this will be visible and the rest i'll change it to a different color i'll pick a different color you can choose a color of your choice so i just want to stick to what i've done and if this column is very small you can expand it any time at all you want so we're going to list our activities so remember before you do that i have the developer i have the developer tab enabled if you look at the tab of i have a developer you may not have it so let me show you how you can do that so let me first remove this i'll first remove this and i'll show you how you can fix it back so at the moment i don't have developer tab so if you want to do this make sure you enable your developer tab click on any part of your ribbon right click and then go to what custom the ribbon custom the ribbon and then we'll go and make sure we check the developer tab click ok after checking that and then your developer tab should be active we're now going to click on that and then you can see we have insert we want to insert a checkbox so click on that and then click on checkbox so now you can drag and then draw that checkbox here so you can start giving this checkbox a name okay you can right click and then click on edit text and you can customize that text so let's just put in some few activities based on your preference so based on work you are doing so let me see web design web design so that is what i'm going to do i don't need to go through the same process to be bringing checkboxes i can just select this and then drag it so i'll select this cell and then just drag it down let's say 
about five months to get the rest of my activities okay so i just need to go ahead and then format this change the labels for my activities let me just zoom in a bit okay so right click and then you can format them click on edit text and we can change the name so let me call this maybe graphic design Okay, so just do that for the rest over here i'll just edit this and let's call it maybe something else anything that you want to list as part of your to-do list let me call this programming so i'm just listing activities as part of my field so you can list things that is also related to your field so let me just format this So I'll just call this UI design, UI slash UX design. And finally, I'll format this. So let me just call this anything at all I want. So I'll call it maybe IT training. Okay, so we are done with our activities. How do we fix the status? So we check from the final web over here. The status is indicating whether true or false. So that is what we're going to do next over here. So personally, let me zoom in so you can see what exactly I'm going to do. So let's fix our status. We have to right click and then go to a format control. So just do that for just one of them. So right click and then go to a format control select format control and then you can see from here we have ind indicate so you can uncheck this before you do that there's nothing wrong with that you can uncheck this before you do that so personally i've checked this you can do the unchecking before you do that there's nothing wrong with that so right click go to format control and then you select what the cell link we want to display the status over here so once you select the cell link, make sure you click on the status, okay, where you want to display it. So if you are click OK from here, anytime I check this, if I check this, it should be changing to a true. If I uncheck, it should be changing to false. So let's try that and then see. So let me now check this and see. You can see now it's changing to a true. If I uncheck this, it's going to change to what? False. So we want to repeat the same process. We need to repeat the same process for the rest. So right click on the next one before that let me just uncheck them and then when we are done we can practice this so i right click on this go back to format control and what i'll need to do is to click on this cell and then click over here and it's going to update this in that order so let's repeat it from the for the rest for now let me just right click over here go to format control format control and then select here the cell link and then click on it related status we'll do that for the last two right click go to format control make the cell link active and click on its related status and let's do that for the last one format control click on the cell link and click on the relative status so now we are done with that if i check any of them it should be updating the status for me you can see if any of this is checked i should be getting the status update as expected okay so once everything is checked it will be showing true for all okay so let's just go ahead i want to center line everything middle and center line go to the home tab and then you can do that send mid center and middle line and i want to just apply some border borders to this so i'll select this part and then use all borders go to the phone group and then select all borders okay i want to also select this part and then add a border to this so just click on that and we've applied that border to everything that we want to do let's compare this to our final way so basically everything we've done so far is taking shape okay everything is taking shape and we will do exactly that if you want to bold in this you can go ahead and then do that now we want to say anytime we select what true the status should be updated as one we select false is the status to be counted and we see the total time we can also monitor the progress so that is what we're going to do and we're going to use the if statement to do that sorry we're going to use the count if to do that calculation so what we'll do is that let's say equal to 
count we are going to use count if so select count if and then we're going to use this range okay this is the status you are using so select this range and then we have to bring the criteria you can see we have a criteria there so bring a comma and the criteria is true so when it's true it's going to give us one to keep counting so let's close this and then hit enter you can see we are getting four because we have four truths at the moment let me also center align this make sure this is center and the middle align so you can see this is four if i check this it's going to inc increase to five okay if i check it's going to reduce it it's going to reduce it so we're going to repeat the same process for the force as well so type equal and then count if so you're going to use count if for this as well and then we we'll select the same status again and bring comma the criteria is now what force okay so we select the criteria for force close this and then hit enter so now you can see one two two force and then three true so now we want to get a total so basically the total will be equal to what the true plus the word the force that is five okay so you can have five activities and now we need to check the progress the progress is basically true we need to once the work is done that means it's progressing so that should be equal to the true divided by the total that will give you the progress so let's hit enter you are getting was 0.6 we basically need to convert this into a percentage okay so from the number tab just click on percentage you can see the 0 0.6 will not be giving us what 60 percent i think for now our work is almost done remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification for more videos like this because there's a lot i have to share with you and in order to enjoy that you need to like and subscribe for more of that so now we have already done majority or 90 percent of our work what is left for us is to bring our bar chart okay let's bring our bar chart to monitor the progress and that is very simple we just have to go ahead and select the progress we only need the progress to do our bar chart go to the insert tab and then from the chart option you need to click and use any of the bar chart i want to use the bar chart i'll just select that and then that is it let's reduce the size a bit drag it and then drag it down and i think this is okay i can position it somewhere here and then we want to show the progress whilst we do the changes okay if i do something like this you can see this is monitoring but let's try and then put maybe a bar on top so go to the chart style and then click and then select this one there's one here that will show the progress on top there are several ones that you can try there's another one here that's showing the percentage there are a lot so just go through the list and pick the one that will be okay for you okay so let me just select this and see how this is going to look like so you can see this is not displaying the percentage on it but if i change it it's still going to be giving me the update if you want to add the percentage you want to display the percentage just pick i think there's one here that will display the percentage okay so this will give you the percentage of progress so if i uncheck this you can see it's going to reduce this to 80 if i uncheck the other one it's going to reduce it to 60 so this will give you the progress so this is just a simple to do list that is going to help you more going to help you track your progress of to-do list that you have activities like subscribe turn on post notification for more of such videos so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to leave this file at the description you can easily download it and then you can practice for yourself thank you so much this is my giveaway to you remember to like if you've not subscribed subscribe as well and turn on post notification till i come away again bye bye